Hello friends. Okay, so it is week one of Camp NaNoWriMo. I am so excited. I think this is like day four because it is the 4th of July and I'm super behind. And I only have to write like 300 words a day if I want to hit 10,000 words by the end of the month and yet I'm still behind. So I actually started out um, wanting to just go back to my outline and just make sure that that looks great because I was starting to pants a little bit and with the script pantsing just screws up the entire structure. So I had to like go back a little bit and flush out more of my outline because it was a very loose outline and I'm realizing I need a much more strict outline. So I did that. I have more work to do, but I at least finished the entire first act. And so now I want to attempt, my goal was to attempt to write 10,000, I'm sorry, 5,000 words a day in one day. But I also thought I'd be starting at 5 a.m. and it's 1.30 and I haven't wrote anything yet. So I'm still going to say let's do 5,000 words. I am working today, but it's probably going to slow down. It's back-to-back -back calls right now, which makes it tricky, but it's probably going to slow down pretty soon because it is the 4th of July. So fingers crossed. And I think the way I'm going to do this is just update you every hour. So I get off at six o'clock and then I still have, you know, time after the kids go to bed. Like the day doesn't end at six, just the work day does. So I am, um, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to open up my word do it document and start writing. And then I the next time I check in with you will be about 2.30 and I will let you know how many words I have because at this point, we have zero. Okay, so I said I check in every hour. It is now three o'clock. I still have zero words. I have spent the entire time working and fighting with Word Duet to figure out how to just simply print my stuff so that I can actually look at the outline. So this is such a failure of a 5k word day. Like this is so bad. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can just copy and paste it. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier and just copy and paste it into like Google Docs and then print it. I'm, I, I'm tracking all my words in Google Docs anyways, so I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I can just copy and paste it all in a word in like Google Docs and just print it that way. Oh my God, I cannot believe I literally wasted so much time with this. Let's do that. So I finally have some progress report. So where's my sticky note? I wrote this like in between calls, which were like a minute in between calls and now we're down to like seven minutes. So I wanna hurry with this update so I can spend this time writing. But I finally got one sprint in. I figured out how to print out the outline and I got that here, which is super helpful. And then I got a sprint in. So I got 351 words, which is everything that I need for like today. It's obviously not enough to catch up. I'm definitely not gonna hit 5k like why do I even think I could try this I'm crazy but the kids were up pretty late last night and then early this morning and so their sleep schedule is all whacked like so crazy so I'm hoping that I can get my kids to just like pass out like early tonight and then I can do some cleaning and just write so I mean I might still do it I don't know but my goal is I have about an hour left in work so I'm hoping I can hit like 700 for the rest of the work day. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're super emotional today. So, be at 700, maybe even a thousand. I almost don't even want to share that this was supposed to be a 5,000 word day because I wrote 461 words in 10 hours. Granted, the time that I was work, you know, wanting to write, I was working and it was busy, surprisingly, for like a holiday. I mean, it wasn't crazy busy I did get some writing in but it was fairly busy and I spent far too long trying to just screw around with or do it instead of just copying the words over into Google Docs which we'll get into that probably in the future I'm using word duet I'm still learning that program so it's a little weird I really like it for like the actual writing of the script it makes it really really easy because it has like all of the you know just 
technical aspects of like how to format your script in there I just can't figure out how to export anything which is gonna be kind of a problem when I'm done um, and there's no way to track words because people don't really track words in a script so what I am doing which is why it's so stupid that I didn't come up with this earlier is if every section after a sprint I copy over what I wrote in that sprint into just a random Google Docs that I started just for tracking my words and to be able to upload it to the Camp Nano website at the end. That's why it's so dumb that I didn't think to do this at the beginning for my outline. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go put my 461 words into the Camp Nano site so I at least track that. The day is not over. I could still write 4,600 words. I'm gonna go be a mom now, and I will check in with you guys later. Um, hey guys, so didn't film any sort of an outro, so I figured I should end the vlog here. So basically the last clip that you saw was really the last that I worked on my book for week one, or I'm sorry, for my script for week one. And yeah, so that was it. I ended week one in the hole, but that's okay. It's, I only have 322 words to write a day, so catching up is really easy. I'm actually on day nine and almost completely caught up. So um, I'll get into that in the next vlog. So I really choose not to be down on myself when I get behind because it doesn't help me. And so if you are starting out week one, either ahead of the game, congratulations, that's amazing and I'm proud of you. But if you're behind, be forgiving to yourself. Show yourself a little bit of grace because writing is supposed to be fun. Camp is actually supposed to be about having fun and experiencing your story and not about stressing yourself about whether or not you're hitting some sort of arbitrary word count that you have created for yourself. Goals can be changed and revised. You can power through and catch up and if you can't, you can't. Just the fact that you're working on your story is enough. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. I have another vlog starting in about 10 seconds because we are now in week two. I really hope camp is going really well for you and that you are of course staying safe. And uh, yeah, so go write some words and of course read a book and I will see you guys very, very soon.